Go Proud was not allowed in this year's CPAC. They were disinvited, and they are the gay Republican group. Now, I have talked to Chris Barron, their leader, a number of times uh, and done interviews with him where he insists that, no, 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 no uh, Republicans are great to gay people. And he, one of the examples that he had used in our previous interviews was, look, we're invited to CPAC. Oh, they let you in the House? Wow, that's great. Except this year, they didn't. So how are you going to justify that now? Well, let's watch. Well, I, well, I think sadly, uh, while we, the entire time that we have been involved in CPAC, have said that the most important thing was unity within the conservative movement, that there have been a handful of, you know, of organizations on the, the social right uh, who have decided to go the route of division. Uh, and some of those individuals and organizations that you just mentioned uh, decided to boycott previous CPACs. Uh, even though we weren't invited this year uh, and we were informed that we were not allowed to participate, uh, we haven't gone that route. Uh, we haven't said that we, we should be organizing a boycott. Because you so badly want to be invited back into the house. The house is so comfy. No, no, we're not for division. Uh, and it's just a few people who are for it. But wait a minute, this is the largest conservative convention. And it's not like it was some fringe people who said, hey, don't come to my family research council meeting. It was the entire convention said, you are not welcome here. And why? Not because you're not a good enough Republican. You're going around television all the time saying Republicans are the best. Why did they not invite you? Because you're gay and they don't like gay people. Get it through your thick skull. But he won't. Here he is again. If the Supreme Court says that you have the right to consensual gay sex within your home, then you have the right to bigamy, you have the right to polygamy, you have the right to incest, you have the right to adultery, you have the right to anything. How do you guys reconcile this? How, how do you say he's better than Barack Obama when he says these specifically about you? Well, let's, let's be clear. First off, we strongly disagree with what Rick Santorum said there. You know, th those comments are, are absolutely outrageous. Secondly, uh, Rick Santorum's not going to be the nominee of this party. Um, I know that the, the mainstream media and, and, and some in the, the party want to continue the charade that there is a horse race going on. A charade that there's a horse race? The guy won the last three uh, states. He won Minnesota, Missouri, and Colorado. He won Iowa. Look, I don't want the guy to be the nominee necessarily. I don't like any of them, right? But to say that he's not relevant after he just won three states in a row, I mean, you're kidding yourself. But you know what? Chris Barron's entire existence as the head of this Go Proud organization is one big joke. Like, oh, no, yeah, of course Republicans love gay people, except for all of the ones that don't and have been arguing for their entire life against our rights and our equality. Come on, man. When are you going to wake up? I mean, do you get paid for this? What's... Why do you do this? This is just embarrassing. Well, how about Romney? They were asked about that too. The other candidates as well that you're supporting also support the, the, uh, support the idea that gays shouldn't serve in the military and they also support the idea there should be a constitutional amendment to prevent gay marriage in this country. That doesn't seem like it's in sync with what you well, would want in your well, candidate. Well, that, that's not exactly true. Uh, Ron Paul doesn't support the constitutional amendment, and, and even Mitt Romney went so far as to say it's not likely. Oh, he said it's not likely. He supports it, but he says, ah, it's not likely. That's the best you got? One of the candidates says that I don't like you guys, but my actions against you are not likely to pass. <laughs> Now I see why you're a Republican. 